Hello, I'm Amy Bauman, the Director on Aging for Piscataway Township. The Senior Spotlight is a great opportunity to have senior citizens share their talents with us. And we get to learn how they have contributed to the community. Today, I am very happy to have Art Capoli here with us. He is a line dancing teacher at the Piscataway Township Senior Center two days a week. And I have to say that each of his class is very full of seniors who love the way he teaches. And I have a few questions to ask you, Art, today. And my first one is, um, how, why did you start line dancing? First, I would like to express my appreciation for your invitation to be part of this program. And now I can mention about line dancing. At first, I did not have any interest in dancing, not at all. But when I met my wife, who was dancing in the early age of her life, I started to have an interest in it. And then our daughter enrolled us in one of the programs which had a promotional package. And so we went with the program and joined our daughter and after the first package, I noticed that there's benefit in myself. And so I extended another package which was being offered. And that led to one after another line dancing lessons or ballroom dancing. Uh, so you didn't know how to line dance in the beginning? Not at all. I did not have any idea. And what got you started? So you got started line dancing by having these packages that your daughter gave to you. And you kind of like you just really started to enjoy it naturally. That's correct. Uh, and I, I thought to, to myself, boy, at my age, I said I missed a lot of fun when I was, when I was younger. Because uh, I said if this was... Uh, the, 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 the fun that you could have after line dancing or during line dancing, why, how come a lot of people are not trying, not even trying it? So that when I started, I learned little by little, and then we ended up going on cruises, and every cruise we had a ball. We opened the ballroom place and we closed it. So that's how much I enjoy it. Sometimes we even go to younger people places because the, you have younger adults and all that. And because I enjoyed it so much, when the old uh, dancing place was closed, we go to the young, younger ones and we just enjoy each one of them. Art, right, tell me what your favorite song is to dance to. Okay, the, the, I'm glad you asked that question. It so happened that when I, first my wife, when I first met my wife, the first movie that we went to is Somewhere My Love or Dr. Shivago. So we watched that movie. And after the movie, we went to a dancing place. And that's the first song that the band played. So we looked at each other and I said, wow, this is a nice song. So last, uh, last part that we had our uh, anniversary, 50th anniversary or golden. That's the song that we played. And so that became our favorite song. It's the same song of our wedding and our life together. That's beautiful. Uh, tell me, what style of dance do you like the best art and why? Well, I, I really like uh, waltz because that you can express your movement really good and then you can dip your, your partner and really show your moves. And in addition to rumba, rumba and waltz. Okay. Uh, tell me what your most mem memorable dance was. Most memorable dance, I would say, I would say it, it's really waltz that uh, uh, is the best of all of them. And we used to teach at this, the other senior center. We teach all of them. But because of the COVID, we, for, we 
we seem to forget some of, some of these steps already. <laughs> Two years without dancing, you know, but it's coming back. <laughs> That's great. How has dancing inspired you? Well, in, in, it inspired me in so many ways. For one thing, you, you get your exercise, which is what we all need. And then, like I said, you meet up with other friends. You make friends wherever you go. And uh, when you go to a place, you don't care where you sit down because you want to meet other people. And that's how you, you invite them to get into it myself. You know. What do you like to do when you're not line dancing? When we're not line dancing, well, actually, well, cleaning the, the house, walking around the house. And I, we still do Zumba at home. We have a little studio that we spend our time together. So even if she's not feeling good, is not feeling well to dance, I still dance even if I'm all, all by myself. How do you handle the stress of a performance when you're getting ready to teach a large line dancing class? Well, number one, you have to be prepared. And like I said, I prepare at home and go through the list of what I'm going to teach them. The, the, the ones that I feel comfortable so that the other people will also be comfortable. What do you think about the reality TV shows when they have the dance shows? Oh, that's really fun. Fun to watch because I pick up a lot of uh, steps and different moves also that can add up to what I already know. Art, do you think anyone can learn how to dance? Oh, I'm sure anyone. But the first thing you would have is Le number one rule is you have to have the interest to learn. That, if you don't have that, you can't learn. Some people, they say, I have to left feet or I have to right feet. I said, we're going to change that. So that's how I approach it. And I, I also started the same way. I, I would say I started the same way. I didn't know anything about it. Yeah. One additional um, ad Advice or oh, one additional contribution that I could have is read this article that I have that would probably help other people who might have interest in it. This article was uh, was a 21-year study of senior citizens, 75 and older, and this was led by. Uh, Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York City, funded by the National Institute on Aging, and published in the New England Journal of Medicare, uh, Medicine. And this is called Dancing Makes You a Starter, Makes You a Smarter. And uh, some of the things, oh, let me quote Dr. Joseph Coyle, a Harvard Medical School, psychiatrist who wrote an accompanying commentary. The cerebral context and hip, hippocamp, hippocampus, which are in tight, uh, critical to these activities, are remarkably plastic and they rewrite themselves based upon their use. And here, let me read some of what was mentioned here. Dancing reduces stress and depression. It increases energy and serotonin. It does improve flexibility, strength, balance, and endurance. It strengthens bones and boosts cardiovascular health. It also increases mental capacity by exercising our cognitive processes. Lastly, dynamic and rapid fire decision making creates new, new neural paths. And so this is how we celebrate life through dance. What advice do you have for an aspiring dancer? Well, I always say when you are in the dance floor, you would be dancing as if nobody's watching you. And that way you would be feeling at ease. You wouldn't care about mistakes. You are there for fun. So when I start teaching, I said, no, no one is perfect. And once you dance, just have fun. 
you know. Do you encourage young people to start dancing? I would because it's, it's also a habit. Once you start it early in life, you, you can see how you're going to in, in, uh, enjoy your life. Because I, I think dancing is, is supposed to be part of our life where you could hum while you're working, while you're doing anything, you're humming and dancing inside, and that's how you enjoy it. That will make your day. I can't believe we are out of time, and I want to thank um, Art Capelli for sharing his story with us today. And I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for sharing your time with us. Please join me next time as another senior shares their talents and how they contribute to the community. Hello, I'm Amy Bauman, the Director on Aging for Piscataway Township. The Senior Spotlight is a great opportunity to have senior citizens share their talents with us and we get to learn how they have contributed to the community. Today, I am happy to have Leroy Gibson. Welcome, Leroy. Great to be here. I understand that you will be 101 on February 22nd, 2023. That is correct. Uh, are you living in your, in your home still? In your, in your own personal home? Uh, I'm living in my home, yes. How many years have you lived in Piscataway? 50. I remember looking at the uh, mortgage agreement when we looked at it. It said uh, this was in 1972. I said I would be, uh, didn't have to worry about it because it was a 30-year mortgage, 202, I'd be gone. Uh, I surprised me <laughs> that I'm that's here amazing. this long. But that's it. I've lived here the last 50 years of my life. I've tried to be a part of the community in being a part of, oh, first of all, I think, because I was working in the hospital, uh, I went to the rescue squad, and I was working with the rescue squad for a number of years. I did try to teach CPR at one time. Uh, this was a deal breaker. And uh, then I got involved with all the things that were going on, especially after I decided to stop working. Uh, my wife and I start, stopped working, and we got involved with other things, uh, basically. So I got to be part of Reading Buddies, uh, where I uh, help the youngsters to read, to learn to read. And uh, I think there's some kids even now that might remember me if uh, they saw me. Um, how many years younger is your wife? Uh, she's uh, three years, three, four years younger than I am. She talks about 66, 60, uh, four years, I think, yeah. She's 97? Yeah. You both have great genetics. That's amazing. We are lucky, let me say, and blessed. Let me put it that way, why not? Uh, I think it's because we are willing to get out and do something for somebody else. I, I was doing a, used to do a lot of think, uh, singing years ago on that. In fact, I had singing with the Glee Club, North Jersey Mental, uh, Philharmonic Glee Club, sang with them. I sang with the uh, church choir and we used to do the Messiah uh, Christmas and at Easter. Uh, we started off the first part we did at Christmas, and the second part we put the two of them together at Easter. 
I had the job of the uh, doing the tenor arios and doing the Messiah. Last year, some of the members of the same group uh, were on a Zoom call with me, and they were reminding me of how their, they and their parents has associated me with the, uh, doing the Messiah and singing in the Glee Club and church choir and etc. <laughs> but that was one of those things. And, uh, what do you feel has been the most important event that you witnessed? I did appreciate the trip to the moon, uh, basically, and the other adventures in space, which I could have been a part of it in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But uh, it's one of those things that if you don't plan or don't get involved in them early enough, all of a sudden it goes by the boards before you know what hits you. I'd, but I would uh, I'd have been around one more time around. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is your favorite decade? My favorite? I think when my son was born, he was born in 57. Uh, that was the most exciting thing that ever happened to me. I've cherished him. I love him. I wouldn't have trade. We're the best family in the world because he's into our life. When I, I spent more my time trying to teach, trying to be of benefit to him. But uh, that was it. He's, he's my buddy. I take nothing for him. He's the greatest. And now his, his grandchildren are part of our lives also. He had two daughters, and one of them's married. And I got two grands out of the deal. Oh, that's so that, beautiful. Uh -huh. That's beautiful. Yeah. How do you keep up with the, uh, the advancements in technology? I try. I think I'm going to have to be coming back to the senior center to get more instruction on what goes on with computers and et cetera or not. Because uh, what I used to know the little that I used to know does not <laughs> accommodate you in the future, the world as it continues to be. If you don't know computers, why not? You don't know anything. It's uh, and it's something I think everybody in this, regardless how young or old you may or may not be. You have to learn what the computer is all about, because if you don't, you'll be lost. If you could relive one moment in your life, what would it be and why? Uh, one would be the day I, we got married, my wife and I married, which is also uh, uh, close by. Uh, we got married in February. Uh, the day my son was born, and I could come back and say, it's a boy, and he's mine. What is the greatest lesson you've ever learned? Help somebody along the way. I just want to say that I've enjoyed every moment that we spent today together, Leroy. Thank you, Leroy, for sharing your story with us. And I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for sharing your time with us. Please join me next time as another senior shares their talents and how they contribute to the community.